Here promoting his new book, The Science of Nap Time, please welcome Jordan Peterzak. Yeah. Jordan Peterzach. <laughs> Common mistake, you know. You say tomato, I say tummy out here. <laughs> Jordan. You know, Jordan. Jordan. Peterzach. 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 <laughs> well, you know, come and go. <laughs> okay, I also I don't know how television works uh, in the UK, but... Oh, we don't have it anymore. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> no, never since WWII. <laughs> World War II. <laughs> that was a new station. Oh, uh, heavens no. You make a cut up. <laughs> now, uh, I have a lot of questions. One, uh... We don't usually allow people to smoke during the uh, set. There's lights, and we really just don't usually. It's, oh, it's, it's illegal to smoke inside in this state. Absolutely um, no. This is a this is a, an entirely British cigarette. It's a Chesterfield chimnet. <laughs> the same laws, I believe, do not apply. Which is funny because in England we won't allow microphones on our desk. <laughs> oh, electrical hazard to be sure. <laughs> Now, uh, uh, Jordan, um, Jordan, Jordan, please. May I say, I really enjoy the outfit you chose to wear tonight. Well, you know, I've just gotten off a, a scupper nong from Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica, what was the first part of that? Scupper nong is a sort of three-masted sailing barge. <laughs> it's not exactly that. <laughs> Two and a half masts. <laughs> Some of your audience might know, the avid readers of my biblio collections, that I have a bungalow there. Uh, I spend half of my year writing my novels, and you know, I wrote all my novels that I wrote. <laughs> That's very impressive, because some people don't write their novels that they write. Oh, do come along. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I'm very interested in this, because you've got a bow tie, you've got this uh, wonderful suit jacket, a dress shirt, and then shorts. Well, I'm afraid I'm harboring the most dreadful sunburn you see. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the legs? Absolutely, that's the only part I ever show. <laughs> I wear a sort of bottomless sleeping bag when I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I had the most delightful conversation with your next guest backstage. Oh, yes, uh, Karen. Yes, and she's the belly flopper and she has a sunburned stummy from all the smackdown on the water top. <laughs> Uh, yes, very the bright. science of nap time. You've been researching this book for 34 years by sleeping 22 hours a day. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> How did that affect your life? Well, I'm something of a somnambulist, you know, sleepwalkers, what I believe you Yanks call. <laughs> 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 I've not limited myself, excuse me, limited myself. <laughs> and I have not found myself limiting myself to only sleep walking, sleep driving, and to be quite fair, sleep setting. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Uh, do you have someone, a uh, significant other in your life right now? No, no. <laughs> I see. <laughs> now, uh, you, there was some controversy because you did testing for this book. You, you tested sleep theories on puppies. Yes, absolutely, because they are most adorable when asleep, you know, and they dream and they sort of pulsate like a, like a beating heart as if it was taken out of its body but left corpuscular instead <laughs> It's just like that. <laughs> who, who doesn't know that? <laughs> Heavens, I can't see your audience. They're like a black abyss with laughter. I <laughs> Are you sure you're just not asleep right now? I don't know. <laughs> I realize you wrote a large portion of this book while sleeping. Heavens, did I? <laughs> so, well, let me tell you. I, I must admit there was a ghostwriter because I have a sort of literary circle that I follow around in, and as a matter of fact, I was ghostwriter on Chitey Chitey Bang Bang. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. How long ago did that book come out? Huh? 
1954, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you off? I just keep trying to I don't look very old, do I? No, you don't. You must be all the sleeping. <laughs> yes. And something. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would make you look older. You know, Noel Coward was over the other day. Even though he's <laughs> I can't go into that. <laughs> well, no, it, it causes a lot of questions. Do you mean like the other day, like, a long time ago? No, his urn of ashes was upon my mantelpiece, and, uh... How did you end up with his ashes? Oh, yard sale. <laughs> now, I know, because you wrote some of this book while you were asleep, you, there are actually large portions of it that you've never read. And there are large portions that are completely ineligible. Ineligible <laughs> <laughs> to be considered a book? That's absolutely correct. <laughs> what, what would make them ineligible? Well, unless you think I had a malapropism just then. It's not true. I meant ineligible. Of course you did. Yeah. It's just that I wrote them a sort of garbled shorthand because I was in fact asleep and the editor simply wouldn't put it in. Well, uh, we have a copy of your book. And uh, I selected one of the chapters I know you actually Excuse wrote me, one. the chapters? It's just as bad as the ineligible thing. Uh, so uh, I want you to just, if you would, for our for our audience here, read just a little bit of this chapter that you wrote while you were sleeping. This is from uh, Science of Nap Time. Certainly, I'm sure. All right. <laughs> of course, <laughs> chapter 32 comes after chapter 31, so we'll read that. <laughs> chapter 33 is, in fact, about a scientist man. He had a son with <laughs> <a> narcolepsy. <laughs> so he would spin him bedtime stories so as to lull him into a sort of sleep. <laughs> sleep, dear boy. The boy's name was Evelyn. <laughs> Dream of beautiful fairy nymphs with flecked caramel haunches. <laughs> Let them spin their spider webs round your shoulders like so many cotton candy purveyors. Let it spin on you like an angry cowl. And then... I'm, I'm sorry, an angry what? Cowl. What is a cowl? It's a sort of ha half cape, you know? <laughs> it's all the fashion in Piccadilly. You laugh now, but you'll be there. <laughs> There's only one more sentence. <laughs> boy, sleep, I say, boy! And he would not, for his father was a loud mouth, you see. That's not in here, I'm only commenting. You know? <laughs> and then the boy dies. <laughs> see what? That's sleep really dead. abrupt. That's yes. very abrupt. You both change tenses and you kill the boy. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, I did not come on here to be mocked. <laughs> well, your, your outfit would say otherwise. Um, but you know what? I really appreciate you being here. Uh, uh, <laughs> your name is nice to you for so long. You know, I'd absolutely be Piccadilly Pinch to hook my chalice bone. Oh, no, you can stay in the seat here. Oh, him. Yeah. You can stay in that seat. Uh, but uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to move on uh, to another segment. First of all, uh, Jardine Peterjack. 